And I feel like this is this is the reason why people abuse their kids. And this is the reason I don't want to have kids. Because I feel like I feel like this is a thing um, in any family system where someone has a radical change in how they raise their kids or they raise their kids in a totally different way from how they were raised because it just has to be that way because it so either you raise your kids in the same way that you were raised and they hate you for it and you potentially go to jail and get cps called on you but you get to say that those kids have a very intimate deep connection with you because they are experiencing how you were raised firsthand but now you get to be the abuser and they get to be the victim i know it's sick i know it's fucked up but this is literally how it works or you take your your morality seriously and you respect your children enough to not repeat the cycle with them but then the downside to that is that you have to live with knowing that they will never understand what it was like for you they'll never fully know you and you'll always kind of be a bit like an alien to them um so your kids can be raised well but you'll never have you'll never have the same kind of trauma bond with them that you had with your parents so there's a break in generational curses there's a break in the generational cycle of abuse and you win in many ways and anyone would applaud you for it and you're basically like a hero but since there was a massive turnaround like say this is like in households that have no hands are allowed no name calling no drinking alcohol in the house no just a very clean way of raising your kids yet say that the parents were someone who had alcoholic parents or drug addict parents and they beat their kids and they talked crazy to them and they harassed them and all kinds of shit like when there's a radical when there's a radical turnaround in how kids are raised i feel like the kids just don't they know their parents as like mom or dad but they don't know them as people they don't understand the deeper (sighs) the way things were like ancestrally with that bloodline so it's like it's a new generation like it's it's a super new generation like it feels like they're in the future or something um I feel like I feel like this is a big reason as to why people choose to continue the cycle of abuse in their families when they have their own kids. And I feel like my belief, I always not always, well I always told myself I would never do to my kids what my parents did to me. When I was a kid, I even wanted to make a list of everything that my parents did wrong so I would know to never do that to my kids, including opening my bedroom door without knocking. Um, or reading my diary. Um, but I think I developed this belief that I don't know if I want to have kids because I feel like I'll be a very disconnected mother. I feel like I just have this intuitive feeling I'll be super disconnected. And at first I was like, damn, would I just like be on drugs or something? Would I just like not care about my kids or just be one of those mothers who just doesn't give a shit about her kids but no i feel like the thing that i was picking up on that's coming full circle to me now is that if i choose to not continue the cycle of generational abuse and i don't beat my kids and i don't i don't deprive them financially i just i don't do any of the shit that was done to me and i actually do give them the best life that they had they will feel disconnected from me as a person they won't understand me they won't understand where I came from. So it's going to be in many ways like raising strangers. Um, and it's honestly going to feel very experimental. Um, and I'll have to rely on logic and morality and not 
the emotional imprint that was already laid out for me. Like I would feel like I would have a very intellectual connection with my children and not one that's like very instinctual or familiar or traditional. I feel like there would be a lack of tradition and structure in the way that I had kids. So I feel like that's that's what I was kind of picking up on when I had this feeling like I think I'd be a really disconnected mother. But I feel like that would be a consequence of the choice to break generational curses. So really, I feel like I want to simplify my options down. Either I don't have kids at all, or if I have kids, I know that I would be signing up for not abusing them. But I would also be signing up for being a bit of an alien to them. Um, and it's not a decision I can make in, in one day. I feel like I'll find out what I do as I get older. Um, but I also fear that if I had children, I know that you can set out to be like an amazing parent and try to do everything right by the book and you'll still abuse your kids in ways you don't understand and a lot of me feels like when the most harm someone can ever do to you is when they're unintentional that they're doing it so when they're they're unaware that they're even being bad or they are they're unaware that they're hurting you there's no limit on it obviously because they don't understand they don't even know they're doing it so it gets crazy and it gets there's no there's no limit um and i know that yeah you can set out to be the best you can be and you'll still hurt your kids that's my dilemma with um parenting on top of the fact that i'm fucking horrified of the divorce rate i'm horrified of the kinds of abusive relationships i've seen and how i'm so deeply aware of how brutal human nature is especially when it comes to mating like we are animals we're very clever and intelligent ones but we still have a very animalistic nature to us and when it comes to something like reproduction humans are fucking brutal and i'm terrified Yeah. As of now, what I do know is that I'm 26.9 and I turn 27 on December 21st. And I'm only 26. And I do know that I want to go to Europe this spring by myself. And I know that I'm going to take my dog for a walk on uh, tomorrow because it's Monday. And yeah, as far as I'm concerned right now, that's my kid. And even though I didn't intend to hurt Francis, I have hurt both of my dogs. And it's, I feel like it's preparing me for parenthood. Ever since I got my dogs, I can't do a lot of things i am limited in so many ways my life has changed in many ways because i have to take care of them um i can't really move around very much i can't justify me moving into an apartment because either i'd have to abandon them or i'd have to uproot them from where they were born (sighs) Yeah. I feel like it's one of these when it comes to having kids it's one of these situations that you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Like some of my clients don't have any kids and they're in their 60s and 70s and 
they get to say they've never abused a kid they're not the reason why a kid a kid out there is suffering and is all fucked up forever because of the way that their father and mother raised them because they don't have any but the downside is that they are lonely in their old age they don't have kids to come take care of them they wish they would have got married they wish they would have had kids but then i know from my parents and other people that i've talked to who have kids there's just a never-ending train wreck of all the trauma and all the collateral damage and all the shit that they've racked up and endured and how distorted their personality has gotten due to living in denial about what they've done to their kids it's just a fucking mess because they did choose to have kids but they have somebody to spend holidays with and they have somebody to take care of them in their old age and give them grandchildren so yeah and i know people who have never gotten married and some people who have gotten married and i've met some people who are older they got married they had kids and they still ended up alone and they still ended up getting cheated on and abandoned and and uh traumatized and then some people who have never gotten married they're still miserable point of this recording was i was just thinking about this 